Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. So first I wanted to say that I finally graduated from my education and now I can call myself a multimedia designer. That means for at least a year I am able to focus on my art and finding a job before I probably start on the next education the next summer. And this means that I get a lot of time to be creative because when I get home from work I don't have to think about studying and prepare for an exam or a presentation the next day. I can just go home from my job and I can paint and draw and do whatever I want. So that's very nice that I finally get some more you know, freedom to do what I love, which is to create art. And in today's video, I want to talk a little bit about getting out of your comfort zone and how it can help you improve your art. My teachers often try to push me outside of my comfort zone back when I was studying, when they finally managed to push me out of my little cute fairy tale mermaid bubble, and I then made something new. I learned a lot and I could become a better graphic designer because I tried new things and I discovered some things that I ended up loving, which I before thought I hate would hate. So in this video I want to push myself out, out of my comfort zone when it comes to my art and therefore try to paint with a lot of orange colors, which before this video I have always thought since day one I started painting that I hated orange and I would never love using it. And I think when you go and try something new that is outside your comfort zone, you can evolve as an artist because you are open to try new things and therefore maybe learn something new that can possibly make your art better. That said, it doesn't mean you have to change what you love to do and create. But I think it is sometimes it can help if you try something new. Like I said, I thought I hated the color orange, but after this painting I absolutely love the color orange. And I have bought some orange ink, watercolor and gouache to add to my palette, because I have just fallen in love with the color orange. So this is kind of a good example to show that what you think is not your style or thing you love might turn up to be something you end up loving. And you would not have learned this if you have not stepped out of your comfort zone to try this. So I really think trying to you know, try something new you're not used to, it could be trying new colors, the draw in a different style, maybe you are used to do more very realistic paintings, maybe try more abstract or a cartoony style maybe, or you know, try something new and you maybe learn that you kind of like that style, maybe you'll combine it with your realistic painting style to create something even better. It could be you will try a new art brand or a new art medium. Like before I knew what gouache was and before I tried it, I only used watercolors, but now I combine my watercolors and gouache like I'm doing right now in this video to create some beautiful artworks. So I always thought before the gouache it wasn't like really watercolor and how could I possibly combine it with my watercolors to create something pretty. But when I, when I try, I decided to give it a chance. And now I really love using gouache both with watercolors but also alone. And I really love this painting with this, these very bold lines. You know, I made a very simple watercolor base with very little details or shadows, but there were mostly some shadows on the skin on the mermaid, but overall it was very simple and I think these bold lines gave it a very uh, nice touch and a finishing look to this painting, especially the hair I'm doing in a moment. You know, right now the watercolor base for the hair is very simple and looks like I've just made my first layer of watercolors and I'm far from finishing this. But when I used the gouache, which were a darker color than the watercolor base, it added so much detail and refinement and it made it look much more polished and finished. And before I did watercolors, I loved to ink, use ink pens and make very detailed hair strands and use many hours to create some beautiful hair with ink pens and I could do that again with my gouache paints, you know, to create these very detailed hair with a lot of flowy, beautiful mermaid hair. 
And that again, because I tried something new where I used the gauge to create bold lines, I kind of went back to what some things I learned, but I kind of forgot. And now I've kind of rediscovered something I really love to do. And overall, I really think to kind of end this video that you don't have to do something completely new. You could just do small things to, you know, try and get out of your comfort zone. As I said, it could be use another color palette like I, like I did. Try a new art medium or paint something you not normally do. Maybe you do a lot of landscape paintings. Why not try and paint some humans? Or if you normally work with black and white, maybe try and work, use some colors or use one color in your illustrations. Maybe you make a lot of traditional painting, maybe try some digital paintings. Because I think you, you learn a lot of new things when you try new things. And you can take elements from those things and um, take those things and use in your other comfortable art style you have already. And maybe improve that with few elements from the new things you tried. I hope that kind of makes sense in this video. and. I really hope you enjoyed this kind of different video where I talk about something I like to do to improve my art. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to see you next time and remember to stay creative.